Have you ever heard of people who crave non-food items such as ice, dirt, clay, chalk, that sort of thing? It's not as unusual as you think. And that condition is a type of an eating disorder that's in the DSM-5 manual under eating disorders. And it does have some cross with some of the symptoms and characteristics of OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, but it's not necessarily the same thing. This condition where individuals crave items that are not food is called pica. Let's go over some myths and facts about pica. The first thing I want to say is if you are somebody or you know somebody who does this, um, let's normalize it. Pica is not that unusual. A lot of people don't want to talk about it. They are embarrassed or they are ashamed. Often you hear about it with pregnant women, but it's also something that say people with dementia, other mental health disorders, OCD, uh, children who uh, maybe have autism. There are a lot of people who experience this and often, but not always, it has to do with a deficiency in vitamins, minerals, or some type of nutrient. So if there's one thing I could say about this is that pica is a type of eating disorder or an eating issue where people crave items that are not food. But it's, again, more common than you think. And I don't want you to be embarrassed or ashamed about it. Please speak to your behavioral health provider. Please speak to your nurse practitioner, PA, doctor, nutritionist, whoever you are comfortable with, or even your OBGYN. Don't feel bad about it. Please come forward and talk to your provider about it because sometimes, again, it's just a simple nutrient deficiency. Myth number one, pica is just a quirky habit. It is not. It is not a habit. It is a eating disorder in the DSM-5 manual. Myth number two, it's really only with pregnant women. That is untrue, or that it's only with children. That's not true. Anybody can get pica, any age, um, any geographical location. Myth number three, pica always goes away. Sometimes it does, uh, and sometimes it doesn't, uh, without some assistance with a behavioral health therapist or with a provider who can see what the issue might be. The underlying issue maybe is iron or zinc or something else. And then when that is corrected, then the pica, un you know, unusual cravings or non-food cravings will then resolve. Myth number four, eating clay or dirt is always a disorder. That is not true. There are some cultures in the world who encourage the eating of certain dirt or specifically certain clay. And in those cultures, they use it for treatment of medical conditions, GI upset, nausea, vomiting. In their culture, the consumption of clay is considered a normal treatment. Myth number five, ice cravings are harmless. Um, not necessarily true at all. Ice is considered one of, next to clay, one of the top two pica non-food cravings that people are experiencing around the world. So again, it's clay, it's ice. A lot of people crave ice or ice chips, and often it is because a nutrient deficiency is going on. Talk to your healthcare provider and no um, embarrassment, no shame. Go in and the, believe me, the dietitians and the providers have heard about this. This is more common than you think. We should normalize it. This is just a condition that occurs because there's usually a reason for it. It is nothing to be embarrassed about. I wanted to go over some other somewhat common, less common than ice and clay, non-food items that individuals have craved. Starch, burnt matches, charcoal, stones, cornstarch, toothpaste, soap, sand, plaster, coffee ground, sand, baking soda, and cigarette ashes. There's another myth that pica or eating non-food items is pretty harmless. That's a myth. It can be extremely harmful depending on the item that the person is consuming and how often, how much that person is taking into their body. It can be harmful for the pregnant woman and her unborn baby. It could be an easy nutrient deficiency that needs to get resolved and it is nothing to be ashamed about. What are some of the life-threatening complications that can result from pica? Intestinal perforation, blockage, and even death. So remember, pica is more than unusual cravings and can signal some other medical concerns that need to get checked out. If you learned something new, hit like, subscribe, share this with a friend. Consider coming back for some more quick health insights. I'll see you next time.